All right. I am Luke Stevens, an Alabama 4-H State Ambassador from Clark County for 2020-2021. And this is Mayor Mike Norris of Fulton, Alabama. And I have interview questions for him today. So we will get started with those. All right, Mr. Mike, what is a day like as a mayor for you, just day to day? Well, Luke in Fulton, uh, it's kind of a unique situation for me because it's my hometown and I've been here for 63 years. But uh, being the mayor is it's kind of a challenge on some days, but it's very excited to be able to do uh, for your hometown people. Uh, so I guess I enjoy being the mayor and I enjoy doing things. And, and uh, mostly I'm a servant uh, for the town of Fulton and I like doing for everybody and keeping everybody happy. But but being the mayor uh, on a daily basis is very exciting for me. All right. What kind of training did it require or if any to become the mayor? Well, uh, anyone can be a mayor. Uh, and if you want to really do a good job, you have to have some grant writing skills and have to have some connections with some grant writers and different people. And uh, over the years, uh, we've been very fortunate in Fulton. And 20 years of being mayor here, I've uh, actually uh, been able to receive for the town of Fulton about uh, $20 million in grants here. So it's uh, having some grant writing abilities and some uh, personal relations with guys and girls uh, all over the state of Alabama has really been really been a big help. But those are not requirements. It's just more benefits for us. All right. Other than being a mayor of Fulton, what are your other jobs or responsibilities around here? Uh, Luke, I am uh, the uh, the water operator and the superintendent. Uh, manage a water company called Mid Central Water, and we service everybody inside of. Uh, of uh, Central Clark County, like from Thomasville to Grove Hill, and uh, so, and I'm the superintendent of the Fulton Utility Board. Since I'm the mayor, I carry that title, so it's a pretty, pretty heavy load for me at times. Uh, but the responsibilities are trying to keep potable water are for everybody, and uh, and being trained in doing that is a pretty high responsibility. But I enjoy doing that. Also, on top of being the water operator, uh, I do on side, uh, I do uh, operate, uh, I mean, I uh, referee high school football and baseball. So I'm a pretty, pretty busy guy. You are that. Um, was there any special schooling for the water board jobs that you had to have? It is. Uh, uh, in 1994, uh, Alabama Department of Environmental Management come out with some pretty strict um, training issues. Uh, they wanted to have licensed operators on board of all the water systems, and that's when I uh, retired from Scott's Lumber Company and went to work with the uh, with Mid Central and become a full time operator. And uh, there is a pretty uh, pretty tough test that has to be taken, uh, about fifteen percent pass rate, and that's kind of gotten much harder over the last few years because of, uh, I guess, the tariff attacks on water. Water is one of our main uh, infrastructures that we have, and it has to be treated. It has to have somebody responsible to be able to treat it and do it in a proper way. So it does require a lot of training. We have to have 24 hours of CEUs or credit education units uh, to keep our license and stay renewed. Uh, so I have to do some classroom training and stuff from time to time. So how many water customers do you have around here? Uh, Fulton has about uh, close to 300 and Mid-Central has about 800. So we're looking at about, about 1,200 uh, total uh, with Fulton, Mid-Central all together. So uh, those, are, those are water meters. And the rule of thumb is uh, you multiply that by three. Uh, so you got we got uh, 1,200 customers times three would be a pretty good average of the uh, – of, I guess, the constituents that we have or the users that we have. What is the best thing, in your opinion, about being the mayor of Fulton? Uh, I guess the best thing of being the mayor is my hometown, and, and I like doing stuff from my hometown, and, and everybody here knows everybody. And uh, and being able to to look back and see what what the mayor and the council members have, have done over the years 
uh, really gives you a boost to be able to want to do more. So I guess being in your hometown is probably one of the most exciting things. All right. Do you have any employees that you're in charge of here? We do. We have some water employees and some town employees, and uh, we have to kind of look out for them. It's a lot of grass cutting, picking up and cleaning up and street work and sidewalk work and stuff like that around town. And uh, it's kind of kind of the mayor's job to keep an eye on that kind of stuff and be sure that everybody's happy and everybody's taken care of. How did you feel when the ballpark here in Fulton was named after you? What did you think? Uh, that was very exciting. Uh, that was a project that we worked on uh, several years ago, and uh, it was a very exciting time uh, to be able to get. Uh, we had an old ballpark there. Was all uh, the fence was falling down, and uh, some high waters had torn it all down. So we actually got a grant uh, approved to uh, put a walking trail and a ballpark, new ballpark down there. And then uh, first thing I knew that the council members had got together and they wanted to name it the Mike Norris uh, ball field and playground. And that was very exciting for me. Um, you feel like you, all the hard work you do it kind of paid off a little bit. It put a big smile on your face. Mm-hmm. Um, what advice, and this is our last question, what advice would you give a youth interested in either of your jobs? Uh, working in your hometown is always a benefit. Uh, a lot of people have to get an education and go off and find jobs somewhere else. And uh, I was very fortunate to be able to to work in my hometown and be able to get a job. Uh, being in the water business is something that's always going to be there, uh, Luke. It's something that uh, uh, people are going to always need water. Uh, and, and being able to be trained to treat the potable water to to meet the ADM regulations is is a is pretty high prestige, and uh, I enjoy doing that. And being the mayor, uh, obviously, is is something that uh, is pretty exciting at times. And it's got its goods and its bad days. And uh, a lot of times, you got dissatisfied uh, constituents around town that want to gripe and grumble about something, and then you got some that's happy about something. So. Um, I also I served 12 years on the council before I became the mayor, so I'm finishing up 20 years as mayor. And um, if I didn't like it, I guess I would have quit many years ago. But it's very exciting to be able to work for the hometown people, especially the ones that 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 appreciate it. And uh, that really keeps me going because there's more people that do appreciate it. There's a few bad apples out there that that uh, like to gripe and grumble about stuff. But uh, I'm going to keep keep working and. Uh, keep trying to help the ones that really want to make their town uh, to look good and to, uh, and I'm going to keep working to benefit the ones that like it. Well, I know that I am grateful for what you do around here. So I know that you work really hard. So I thank you for coming and letting me interview you to do all this today. We definitely appreciate you, Luke, and all the other young kids around town. Uh, You showed a lot of interest in the town of Fulton and, uh, and the school and the 4-H program. And, uh, We definitely support uh, you and, and what your kids do 100%. We thank you. All right. Now, thank you.